This Use a Play is brought to you by Whoa, I'm happy Now I'm gonna take my time I'm happy Enjoying myself with lime I'm happy Escape from reality Yay And let lime take care of me Whoa, whoa, we're just happy and smiling Doing almost anything Having fun and just living Whoa, whoa, shopping, chilling, everything Get happy with Barbados's largest and fastest 4G network Activate any Lime prepaid or postpaid mobile plan today This is the Bobby This Today afternoon update for Thursday, October 23rd, 2014. I'm Kmar Jordan. Thanks for joining us. It's time to take the education debate to a higher level. The head of the Barbados Coalition of Service Industries, Lisa Cummins, says the island now needs to move past the controversial issue of funding and focus on some national priority areas. So in our view, the priorities need to be identified. Barbados needs to find a place where it identifies what its national development priorities are. We've had a national development strategy, which I'm not quite sure if it is still being pursued by at the government level. What that, 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 to the best of my recollection, was meant to take us up to 2025. If we were to retreat to the position that we have a national development plan that establishes Barbados as a developed nation by 2025, how does education play a role in that, and how does that need to be financed? That should be the priority question in my mind, in a BCSI's mind, at this point. It cannot simply be about matriculating numbers into the University of the West Indies. Her comments come on the heels of last night's public lecture put on by the University of the West Indies, at which Professor of Economics Andrew Downs says considerable thought has been given to new avenues for financing the university's operations now that the government has cut back on its support for the institution. Going forward, it might very well, the open campus, unlike the other campuses, might very well be, 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 be the model, the new educational business model for the University of West Indies going forward. That is, it is to a large extent working outside the University Grants Committee framework and provide, of course it has a lot of day-to-day -day challenges, no doubt about that. The point I want to make there is that we have a model within the university setting which suggests something that we might be able to work with going forward. That is that whereas we might have some challenges in relation to uh, government funding, uh, one campus has been able to overcome that particular challenge. And the question is that can we learn from that particular model going forward or can we therefore have to revert back to the old model? These are some of the issues that we have to grapple with uh, within the university. Meantime, this week's Central Bank report remains a hot topic of discussion. The head of the Barbados Employers Confederation, Tony Walcott, has zeroed in on the matter of unemployment. He says while he's not in a position to dispute the Central Bank's figure of 13.2% unemployment as of June this year, from where he sits, layoffs in the private sector are continuing. No official word just yet on Clico, but the leading businessman says ordinary investors should be given priority in any court settlement or government intervention. The chief executive officer of Gutters Enterprises, Charles Herbert, was speaking at last night's People's Assembly put on by the opposition Barbados Labour Party. There's another issue with Clico, and that is that rough, and I don't have the exact certificates, but um, statistics, but I think I'm right, but at least half of the money that's lost is lost by people who had more than a million dollars deposited with Clico. Okay? So those people are not going to the bread line because they get back 50 cents on the dollar. Okay? And they are not the people that is the public of Barbados should be having to bail out. There are people who had the sense to, make the, to take good advice and to make their own investment decisions and they made the wrong one. 
We need to bail out the poor people who are in Clico, and that will not cost us as much as trying to bail out everybody. Now for a quick look at the weather, in case you're wondering what all the shower activity this morning was all about, the local Met Office says the island has been feeling the effects of the tail end of a tropical wave and another low-level system. So don't put up your umbrellas just yet. The acting deputy director of meteorology, Sonia Nurse, says this activity will continue into the weekend. Nurse also tells Barbados today there is a possibility that the showers will increase later this afternoon. Officials are monitoring the situation. Please don't get wet out there. There's regional and international news after this short break. The Barbados Food and Wine and Rum Festival, November 20th to 23rd. Taste the culinary delights of top local and international chefs like Marcus Samuelson, Anne Burrell, Tyler Florence, Roger Mooking, Michael Hines, Dane Sadler, Daphne's Restaurant and more. The Barbados Food and Wine and Rum Festival, 5th edition, November 20th to 23rd. Visit foodwinerum.com or contact Premier Event Services Inc. at 435-0670. Get your tickets now at Wine World or Ticket in sports, the International Cricket Council expresses concern about the current troubles between the Board of Control for Cricket in India and the West Indies Cricket Board, but says it cannot intervene unless it's asked to do so. You would have heard by now that the West Indies players pulled out of the India tour last week at the height of their pay impasse with the West Indies Cricket Board and WIPA, which is the players' association in the region. The ICC says it remains hopeful that the matter will be resolved amicably. To regional news now, suicide is one of the leading causes of death in the Caribbean. That's according to a new Pan American Health Organization report, which shows that on an average, 65,000 people take their own lives in the Americas, including the region, each year. Between 2005 and 2009, Guyana, Suriname, Trinidad and Tobago and Cuba were listed in the report as the countries in the region with the highest suicide rates. The report says suicide is the third leading cause of death among young people ages 10 to 24 and adults over 70. Men are said to be four times more likely than women to take their own lives, but women make more attempts than men. The most common method of suicide in the region is suffocation, including hanging, followed by shooting and poisoning. We head over now to Canada, where Parliament reopened this morning after yesterday's deadly shooting in Ottawa, the country's administrative capital. Today's session kicked off with lawmakers giving a standing ovation to the sergeant-at-arms, Kevin Vickers, who shot and killed the gunman responsible for killing a guard outside of the Parliament. A moment of silence was also marked today. And in his address, Prime Minister Stephen Harper made it clear that his country will not be intimidated by any acts of terrorism. But well, that's our Barbados Day afternoon update. We'll be back again this evening. Until then, remember to log on to www.barbadostoday.bb. Subscribe to our e-paper or email updates, or better yet, like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals, via screenplay in supermarkets and gas stations near you, or you can tune in to Channel 101 on Lime TV to get the very latest news and sports. I'm Kmar Jordan. Have a wonderful day. Remember, don't get wet out there. See you. This news update. Brought to you by Whoa, I'm happy Now I'm gonna take my time I'm happy Enjoying myself with lime I'm happy Escape from reality Yay And let lime take care of me Whoa, whoa We're just happy and smiling Doing almost anything Having fun and just living Whoa, whoa Shopping, chilling, everything Get happy with Barbados's largest and fastest 4G network Activate any Lime prepaid or postpaid mobile plan today